Okay, this is a very important video. I want to just get right into it, but I titled this How Women Convinced an Entire Generation of Men That We Should Pursue Them. And what this has done, or what this has done, I should say, is this has created an entire generation of men who consistently give away their attention without even realizing the value that they have. Um, and this is going to be a very deep video, okay? This is going to be very in-depth. And I promise you, if you stay with me until the end, this will change your life because you're going to actually look at things from a different perspective. Also, I made you a gift after this video. Check it out. It's completely free. I give you inside processes that will help you inside of your dating life that you can use instantly once you sign up. Completely free, complimentary. It's down below. You'll love it. We've already had over 1,500 people join in like the past like four or five days or something. It's been crazy. So definitely check that out after, but let's dive in. Okay. So let's start off over here. A lot of times women will say things like if he wanted to, he would, or if he had confidence, he would, if he had balls, he would, if he was assertive and went after what he wanted in life, he would come talk to me. He would do this. He would initiate, he would be a masculine man. Okay. And what has happened is all of those traits I just described, they've associated it with the word masculinity. So now what's going to happen is that if you feel that you don't have that, that makes you not masculine. Okay. But this is their definition. Okay. So keep this in mind. What I'm trying to say is this, that means that the label of masculinity is essentially earned only if you align with the traits that they claim that they want. This is the sneakiest thing I've ever seen. And this has happened over years. Okay. I've never done a video like this. Yes, I do a lot of marker board videos, but I've never done a video like this. So just stick with me here. What are the traits that they will associate with masculine or masculinity? What are the traits that women associate masculinity with? They will say things like assertive, ambitious, uh, protector, provider. Okay. Bold and goes after what he wants. Notice how all of those things benefit them. This is what I'm trying to tell you. All of the things that they claim, makes the man a masculine man is all the things that they directly want that are going to benefit them. This is what guys don't understand. Okay. So here's what I'm trying to say. If he doesn't initiate, right? He doesn't possess any of these amazing things is basically the frame that they're coming from, or basically the frame that guys feel as if they have to abide by because that's the narrative. Okay. In a way, this is manipulation. Okay. Because here's the thing, since you want to take her out on a date, you instantly tell yourself, well, if I don't align with these things, that doesn't make me a masculine man. This is sneaky. Okay. Because now, okay. To earn the label of a real man or a man's man or a, a real masculine man. Okay. You must now identify with these traits that directly benefit all of them. Okay. So men spent years not seeing how this gives away leverage. This is what I don't think that you understand. Okay. If you look at all the value that a man brings to the table, protecting, providing, building, caring. Okay. All of these things, you have so much value and you're completely blind to it because you think she's pretty. Okay. You think that the beauty has so much higher value or so much more leverage over you. And this is what you don't understand. Okay. So here's what I'm going to teach you. Every interaction in life is a game of leverage, everything, every interaction that you have with everybody. Okay. Men fail to realize this. So let's say you are at a job, right? Or let's say you are in your career and you work a job and you ask your boss for a raise in this one example. Okay. The boss has the leverage because you are coming to them. Now, do you have some leverage because, uh, you're doing work for that company. Yeah, of course. But in this specific example, since you are coming to them and you want something from them, the boss has the leverage. Think of it that way. If you're approaching a woman, what you're basically communicating subconsciously is she has the leverage in this interaction because you want that date. You want something, you want to extract some kind of value that will lead to the desired outcome you would like. Just stick with me. This will make sense. In this example, if you work a job and you ask your boss for a raise, the boss has the leverage because you are coming to them. Number two, let's say you want a brand new watch, right? Let's say a brand new watch just came out on the market. Okay. And everyone is saying how rare it is. Like, let's say there's only five of them made in the whole world. Let's just say that that's the example. There's only five of these watches made. 
They're luxury, they're designer, there's only five of them made, right? What this is doing is this is triggering scarcity because there's only five of them. Well, now when you walk into that store, you are willing to pay a premium because they are in demand, okay? So in this example, the watch store now has the leverage because you are coming to them, okay? And on top of that, they now have something that you want. So in both of these examples, you are giving leverage to the other person because you are coming to them. But see, point number three is where things get different. Okay, this is very different. Point number three is different. Let's say you are out on the street, okay, and a guy is trying to sell you something or he's trying to get you to buy something. You know, you say, hey, hey we're selling this. Uh, come into the store, please, please come into the store. Hey, hey, we're selling this. Uh, it's a brand new sale for the holidays. Come in, come in, you gotta see this, check this out. Well, look at that energy. In that example, that person, the salesman, is selling themselves to you. They want to get you in the door of their store. So in this example, this is very different because you now have the leverage as that salesperson is coming to you. Well, think how different things are in that example. They are coming to you, which means you have something that they want. In this example, it's your money. Okay, so you have to understand this. I think every guy has to understand this entire topic in order to really see their own worth or their own value. This is how women have successfully over the years maintained all of the leverage as men stay completely unaware of their own value, okay? So here's what's happened, okay? Women will oftentimes align femininity with the idea of waiting for Mr. Perfect to come along. So now what we have to do is we have to look at all of the traits that align with this femininity idea, okay? So the first would be like playing hard to get or women will say, don't pursue, right? Don't pursue, right? Let the guy play the guessing game. Don't initiate, wait for him to ask you out, okay? This is the whole idea. So what they are trying to do here is maintain the leverage to get you to come to them, okay? So most women's game when they're dating, like what is the strategic moves that they're playing? The entire game is really just to sit and wait. Okay, this is what you have to understand. At most, here's what will typically happen. Most of the time, if she has really high interest, she maybe will like smile at you or something, okay? So that way you can hopefully read her mind and that way you know to come and talk to her. What they will do is they will do everything possible to maintain the leverage by not communicating interest first. This is exactly what they do. They will do everything. They maybe will flip their hair in a cute way towards you. They maybe will smile at you. They'll do everything possible in order for you to say, hey, let's go out on a date. Hey, let's go do this. Hey, what's your name? They will do everything possible, okay? So when this happens, okay, here's what you have to understand. Now, what happens day after day, month after month, week after week, year after year, they can extract free attention, have all of the options, and make you initiate, even though you have all of this value that you don't see, okay? So keep this in mind. This is what I'm trying to communicate in this video. Whoever is the one in pursuit is automatically at the slight disadvantage. This is in any situation in life. What I have found works best with how things are today in a social media world, okay? A very good way of looking at this is you have to raise your SMV, your sexual market value, until they exit the feminine covert communication and enter into overt communication, okay? If you raise your dating value high enough, they will approach you. If you raise your dating value high enough, okay, they will uh, say, hey, I'd like to get to know you, or what are you doing this weekend? What are your plans? This will happen, I have seen this happen, okay? So what you really need to do is you need to redefine what masculine is and what it means for yourself, okay? Because let me ask you a question. What if your definition of it is to be assertive in life but only towards your purpose in life and not towards the pursuit of dating? How would your perspective change? How would your perception change on the dating game? What if you told yourself, hey, I have so much value, I don't need to initiate. What if guys started operating that way? And I think more and more guys are actually starting to operate this way. Here's what I'm trying to tell you. They will pursue you if you are worth pursuing. If men quit giving away attention, okay? If men quit giving away attention digitally, 
and in real life, the dating game in the world would be very different. This is a food for thought video. Okay, this is how women convinced an entire generation of men to be the initiators and approach. And this has been going on for years. Okay. So what you have to understand is as soon as you do that, you have given away some of your leverage. So this is why the word choosing signals even exists because the whole strategy that they're deploying is how can I, how can I get the guy to pick up on certain things that demonstrate that I would like him to come and talk to me is basically the subconscious narrative going on. But as soon as you fall into that exact game, they still have the leverage because you came to them first. So this is just food for thought, right? Is it possible to go out on dates and stuff by approaching? Of course it is. Is it possible to get a girlfriend or enter into a relationship even if you were the one pursuing first? Yes, of course. But this is food for thought. You have to recognize this, okay? If you want to take this a step further, join that free community that I made. It's complimentary. Listen, guys, this is some really cool stuff that I made for you and you no longer have an excuse. If you have been watching these videos that I make for an extended amount of, you know, days, weeks, months, or years, now is the time because you have no excuse. And what I mean by that is it doesn't cost you anything. It's free. You hop into it. It's complimentary. I made it as a gift for you. You have to see what I made. You have to see what I made for you. At least check it out. We'll see you in the next one.